Myanmar is in its transition to democracy, and the Mali Party general election have been held for three times, including today's 2020 general election. According to the statistic, over 5,600 candidates from 91 political parties will be contested in this year's 2020 general election. The stakeholders, local international organizations worked hand in hand in order to hold the election successfully in free, fair and transparent manners. The statistics show that over 38 million people are eligible to vote in this year 2020 general election. And among them, an estimated 5 million young people are eligible to vote for the first time in Myanmar's 2020 election. The young people are the future leader of our country, and the country is putting remarkable effort into its democratic transition. So today, we are very much honored to welcome three young, talented, first-time youth voters with us to talk about their excitement, their knowledge on 2020 general election, as well as their hopes for the winning candidate for the development of Myanmar. Thank you so much for joining with us today. The talks on the youth expectation on this 2020 general election. So before we start anything else, we would like to start with your introductions about each of yourself. So let me introduce myself first. Uh, my name is Su Hui Yi, and I'm a second year student at University of Medicine too. And I am serving as a volunteer in American Center Public Speaking Club Yango as president. Mm, yeah, thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. My name is Chen Miao Wen, and I'm a second year student of National Management Degree College, studying about English for professional purposes, and I am the vice president of American Center Public Speaking Club for over one year. Malik Haizhi, please, would you like to say, introduce about yourself? Uh, hi everyone, my name is Kai Zin So, and I am a second year university student from the Go University. My major is psychology, and thanks for MITV for inviting us. Thank you so much for joining with us, and we are very much honored to host three of you to let and you know, explore about your first time experience in voting 2020 general election. So as you know, this 2020 general election is very much important for all the, con for all the people in the country. So what, before we started, what are your excitement? Uh, okay, so as for me, I feel really nervous and excited because like this is the first time voting and I feel like I am officially an adult because I officially get a chance to vote. And I voted because I want what is better for my country and I care about the future of my country. And uh, like as a first time voter, uh, I feel like I'm responsible for my country to be more developed. And I will try my best too. <laughs> and I'm also very excited about that. Yes, and for me, to be honest, I feel so nervous about it because I'm 18 years old now and I have my official opportunity to vote the party I like. So simultaneously, I, I am over the moon and I feel so excited about it. As for me, I'm also excited about the election uh, because like, you know, uh, long, long ago, our parents don't have a chance to vote uh, which, uh, which party they want to choose. But now we have a multi-party democracy election, so we have a chance to uh, to vote at which party we want to give a vote. And also, like uh, I think now I'm 18 years old, and like I have a responsibility to be a, a part of a citizen, and I have to give a vote. So I think my one vote can change my life, not only for my life, uh, for our country and like for our coming generation too. That's why I'm really grateful that uh, I have a vote. Uh, I have a chance to give a vote for this election. I was really excited to hear all the young people are really excited and enthusiastic to cast your ballot in this 2020 general election. So as a first time voter, as you all are the first time voter, you know, what kind of knowledge or information that you learn to cast your vote for the candidate that you trust? <laughs> it's okay, I'll start first. So as a teenager, to be honest, I rarely read newspaper and I usually use the social media to know the up to date news. So to be honest, I I didn't read the newspaper to 
learn more about the politics, but I did search the information about the different parties in this election, and I did some time, and I took some time to decide which party is the best for for my country. Yeah, as for me, uh, a little bit staying with her, and uh, as for me, first I check the list of the voters uh, because my family recommends me, and I. Uh, with my family, uh, which party should I vote? And I, uh, we discussed about this. And uh, I also use social media to hear the voices of uh, people. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Thank you. Uh, as for me, like I research about who would, uh, who will be the representative of our township, or who will be the candidate for the election. So I research about that, and also I have discussed with my family, like uh, which party they will vote for, something like that. So I think this is like how I prepare for the election. So I believe you all have like you know knowledge and experience already learned what kind of you know candidate that you are trusted and how you're going to vote it. So as a youth of the country of Myanmar, you are going you vote for this 2020 general election. So what kind of you know expectation that you have for the candidate that you vote for the development of our country Myanmar? Uh, for my expectations, first of all, in health sector. Uh, I want, I wanted the new government to give a perfect and good health education to uh, almost every citizens of Myanmar, and also like the ratio of doctors and patients is not equal, and the some of the doctors tend to go to foreign countries, and maybe because of that, and like uh, I wish the salary of the doubter should be increased more if possible. And then uh, for the education center, I hope uh, the new education system will support and encourage the critical thinking of students uh, without uh, learning by heart or without doing parent learning. And I want to I wanna do them to focus on critical thinking. And also like here back to our high school, uh, although we have sports and computer uh, time in our schedule, uh, we didn't get a chance to do it in real life, right? Uh, of doing sports and computer, we uh, we have to learn subjects instead. <laughs> so I hope our uh, <clears throat> we. I hope we got a chance to learn about those computer, and we have to. Uh, we will. We will get a chance to uh, do sports if possible. And because like, uh, when we uh, when we are out of the high school, we have to face with soft skills. And if we learn these soft skills, and if we learn business computer in our high school, we won't be, we won't have any much difficulty. So, and, and then I wish uh, our education system will prove uh, the new education system will provide a comfortable environment for students to study in high schools as well as in universities. And another thing is that I want, and my expectation is to take great actions well in child rape cases and child labor cases. Yeah, this is about my expectations and I wish uh, these will come to reality if possible. Yes, I agree with her. I totally agree with her. Yes. As a teenager, I also have a couple of expectations for a new government. The first one is about the education because uh, our, our country youth are very important to become a better country because today we are youth, we are teenagers, but in future we become the leaders of our country. So education is the background for every teenager. So I want a better system of education. For example, advanced technical aid and modern educational aid for for high school and for university. And another thing is I want to learn more practical things in university, not about the theories and not about the theories, just more practical things that that are useful in practical work workplace. And another thing is about the rubbish. In Yangon, the crowd of place like Lede, there are lots of rubbish around every road. Uh, actually, 
planet is such a beautiful place to hang out with friends, with family, but they are also rubbish. So I want them to take the rubbish case more seriously. Of course, I know we citizens are a part of the rubbish case, and we also have the responsibility to take seriously about it. So I think if we citizen and government take this case seriously together, I think we can get rid of the rubbish case. As for me, I also agree with my friends, and I'm really like want to change the him for the educational the educational system. Uh, as we all know that uh, we don't have uh, we we haven't teach critical thinking or creative thinking or problem solving when we are young or when we are in high school, and also like uh, we all are forget about uh, physical health and mental health. Uh, so in school i want like the government or or the candidate to like prepare and to have a p p e time or like to have a pre pre physical time or and also i want him to provide a, like a to mental health time it's like uh like we have we should have to be teach a uh, thought about mental health since we are young and also uh, i noticed about myself that like Burmese people are really weak in teamwork. So we are like we don't have a lack of collaboration. We don't we don't interested in uh, how to help people. I mean like uh, we are good at helping individually, but we don't we are not good at helping uh, like group or helping uh, teamwork. Or we are really uh, weak in like collaboration. So I want like. Those kinds of things are really important for everyone, but and for Burmese people, uh, like have a chance to teach uh, those kinds of things when they are adult or when they finish their or when they are graduated or like something like that. So I think those kinds of curriculums are really important. Uh, this is not for this is all like not for a lecture. This is all. This is all about our life lesson we should learn when we are in school. So I think uh, those kind I want uh, those kinds of lessons and like lectures when I was in high school. So I now I'm in the university student, so I don't have a chance anymore. So that uh, for the coming generation, uh, like I think they have uh, they have still a chance to uh, so that those kinds of facilities of course it's really great to hear the insightful you know the knowledge and the expectation of the young people who are actually in the field for the development of our country thank you very much for sharing about that and i believe this program will actually help to all these stakeholders to learn about what the voices of the youth the young people what they really wanted thank you so much for sharing about that and as the 2020 general election what kind of you know information or knowledge that you can learn from where is it easy to easy access for the to the information that you need to learn about the election uh, it's really convenient to uh, to know the knowledge and information uh, because like uh, we if we want to know about the election or like something historical things we can read in the like in the newspaper, if this is okay, if you are not interested in reading newspaper, you can check it out on the Facebook and you can research about the things on Google or something like that. Now we are in the technology age. So I think everyone can do like those kinds of things easily. And if not, I, uh, if you don't have, you don't provide the internet, you can also ask about your parents or your grandparents or something like that. Uh, I believe that they can totally be like uh, willingly to share those kinds of informations and uh, those kinds of experience they have. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, like she mentioned, uh, this is the age of technology. So, uh, and uh, we can go outside to see information. So, I I often check updates about the election and what we should do, or like especially on Facebook. And sometimes I share post about it. Uh, yeah. And often I read newspapers to know about the instructions well. Yes, for me, as I mentioned before, I really news I rarely read newspaper, but I did search about the 
groups of the election and on Facebook. But instead of reading newspaper, I talk uh, with my father because my father is really interested in politics and he knows almost everything about everything. So uh, when I talk to him, I got a lot of uh, knowledge about the politics. So instead of reading newspaper, I talk with my father. <laughs> yes. That's really great for soldiers to learn more information about it. So as in our country, for this year 2020 election, a man the 38 million eligible voter. We have like an estimated 5 million young people to vote for the first time, like you, in this 2020 general election. So why it is important to vote on 2020 general election? What do you think about that? Yeah, it is really important to vote because if you don't vote, uh, this vote will be uh, for the party that is not really suitable for our country. Of course, one vote will lose if you don't vote, and this vote will be a vote for the some candidates that is not suitable for our country. So it is really important to vote. And uh, as you all have already known, we are the citizens of Myanmar and we are living in this country. So we have our own responsibility as the youth to change the future of the country. And we should care about the future of our country. Yeah, so this is really important to vote. Of course, our can the, the future of our country depends on us. Yes, I think so too. Because as I mentioned before, today we are youth, we are teenagers, but in future we become the leaders of Myanmar. So we have to be interested in politics too. And I wait to be an 18 years old girl to vote. So if you didn't vote, it will be a waste. And we have the opportunity to be a part of the change. We have the responsibility to vote. So I think it's very crucial for every citizen of Myanmar to vote. Uh, well, uh, I think that uh, it is really a huge chance that we have. We can uh, we have a chance to give a vote for election, and also uh, like we uh, everyone know that like we are still under the like uh, unfair situation. Some of the cases, so I think our one vote can change the change the not only for my our life but also for our country and the future future people, future citizens. So I think this vote is really important. And like uh, only one vote is not, uh, we, th we thought that one vote is not a big deal, but when we combine too many votes, so it will be a huge vote. So I think like vote is really important and like don't forget to vote. As you all are the first time voter in 2020 general election and as I already learned and you know heard about your explanation and answers about what kind of like ac background experience that you have in education and what kind of expectations that you have for the future development of our country. So would you like to a little bit share about you know what kind of uh, you know your biggest ambitions in the future to help in the development of our country Myanmar? Uh, for me, like. I'm majoring at the psychology, so I want to be like say in the psychology aspect. So as you know, like mental health is really important to humans and all over the world. So like uh, in our country, uh, we have lack of playgrounds and park. So you know that uh, those kinds of things are really affect and they have a good impact for our health and for our lifestyle. So uh, if I have a chance, like I want to rebuild many playgrounds in every township and like uh, many like a beautiful uh, park or something like that. Yeah. So I think those kinds of things can help to like development our mental health. So like mental health is really a major things in our in the human. So when you ha when you have a good mental health, you uh, you can do everything. So I think uh, I have uh, like a, I want to mention about mental health so that I will build many playgrounds or park. Yeah, this is my like a new uh, opinion. So. And for me, uh, when I was a child, I used to, uh, I used to be, I used to want to be a singer. But in middle school, I used to want to be an ambassador. But after matriculation examination, I clearly see what I really want to be. And my relatives and my family forced me to attend the medical university, be a doubter, be a doubter. And I'm like, no, I want to be a doubter. I want to be 
um, in a business management field. That's why I chose the National Management Degree College. And I have gigantic interest in human resource management because I think human resource management is a little bit weak in Myanmar. So I want to be an HR specialist and um, help people in business management field. Uh, as for me, uh, like is to become a doctor so uh, now I'm studying medicine and but for me uh, I want to help my country uh, I want to play a role for my country to develop in health uh, for example like let's let's uh, this year in the beginning of this year I go to a village and uh, with an organization called Association of New Generation Louisians and uh, I got a chance to give health education so like as I have mentioned patients is to uh, help improve the health education of people and uh, I'm also going to give health education to help uh, this had health center and also like our uh, I have also experienced uh, going to foreign countries like Japan or Bangkok and when I go there and if I ask them uh, do you know Myanmar they said no and the image of Myanmar is a little bit uh, not good and they, they they see Myanmar people as not well disciplined guys and so I want to improve this image like you know so uh, I have I had been also selected as a representative of Myanmar in some of some programs like exchange programs. So at the time when I go to foreign countries and got a chance to talk with foreigners, I talk uh, about my country and I talk about the hospital or uh, hospitality and kindness of Myanmar people. And I change uh, I want to change their image and I'm also trying to do so. So I believe that you know it's really great to hear your hopes and your expectations and I believe that with the help of the talented young people like you are, we will see tremendous development of our country in the future very soon, I believe that. And thank you so much for giving your precious time to join with us. So before we wrap up this conversation, we have a lot of, we have so many young and talented youth out there who are also going to participate in this year 2020 general election and also going to participate hand in hand together with all of the talented people in the world, of course in the country Myanmar, for the development of our country. So what kind of message that you would like to give to all the young people out there? So for the young people, I'm one of, I'm one of the young people too. So the one message I want to give is like, one vote is, like I said before, one vote is not a big deal, but if we combine one vote each other, so it will be a huge vote. So, so it, uh, like those kinds of huge vote can be change your country futures and you know, change your lifestyle too. So one vote is really important and don't forget to vote. Yes, for me, I want to say before we turn 18, the adults treat us like we are just little children. But now we are 18 years old and we become an adult and we have the opportunity to give vote uh, to the party we like and we have the responsibility as a Myanmar citizen. So don't miss the chance and grab it and um, draw the future of Myanmar together. Okay. Uh, first of all, like as the saying goes, use of leaders are a uh, use of today's the leaders of tomorrow. Uh, we play a really important role for our country. So uh, we should be hard working first. Like uh, we should be productive. We shouldn't waste our time in, uh, we shouldn't waste our time and spend our time usefully. For example, in this pandemic, uh, you can learn to get a new skill, for example, English speaking skills or cooking skills. And then our uh, like as the saying goes, everyone has its own duty and own skill, but not everyone see it. So everyone, every youth has its own uh, benefits and own skills. Are uh, the thing that the thing that is important is to develop your skills and to try your best. And yeah, and we should participate it. To, process of developing our country as a drop of water, a grain of sand. We should be, uh, we should be active, we should be active learners and we should 
try our best in every things that we do. So uh, we we are from America Center Public Speaking Club, and we run every Friday three to five p.m. And if you want to, uh, if you uh, want to practice English language English speaking skills with ads, we are always welcome, and it is free for everyone. So thank you so much for you know giving your precious time and answering all the questions, and I am very much honored to be able to have a chance to discuss you know talk on the development of our country and of course the youth expectations on the on this year elections. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe everyone are very excited to join. Thank you so much for giving your time. The population of young people is growing day by day across the Asia-Pacific region, including Myanmar. So it is very much important for the young people to understand what role they play in their community and to know their elected representative. So I believe you will enjoy today's conversation with young, talented, first-time voters on 2020 general election their commitment and their expectations on the winning candidates for the development of our country, especially for the young people, the future leader of Myanmar. And through this talk, we would like to also encourage to all the citizens of Myanmar to catch your vote, to show support and commitment for the development of our country, Myanmar.